Hey, this is Vincent Shark, States of Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. We are chilling over here at Ocean One Bar and Grill. Uh, probably the cheapest lunch special that you're going to find in Vegas over here. $4.99 for lunch. Everything on the menu is $4.99. Really great stuff. So, really looking forward to it. Going to see if it's actually worth the money or if it's just something they should dodge. But let's get started. It's the Ace of Vegas. The Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our Patreon members for helping the channel grow. More on that later. Yeah, this is a uh, quite the menu here. I gotta admit, everything's four ninety nine. I do wonder how everything is. I don't know. I kind of want those Ocean's Five wings, but the calamari looks good too. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll just order both. Pat, you gonna have some wings if I order some wings or calamari? I don't know. I don't know. I like it. I was just gonna get the sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. What's a Hawaiian cosmopolitan? That sounds serious. Whatever you want, I'm easy. If you want to be spicy, I can eat it. Nice. All right. Bet. All right. Well, I think I got some ideas. So, since everything was so cheap, we decided to get a little sampling of everything on the menu. Wings, calamari, steak, fish, and quite a few cocktails to try out. Let's hit the list and see what our favorites were. All right, guys. We officially got the Cosmo over here. Um, it's a good-sized glass. This is about what you're gonna get at a casino anyway for gambling. That's a two or three dollar tip anyway, so it's basically the same thing. So we're gonna try that out. Well, that's really sweet. You can taste the vodka in it, definitely. It's still not the best mixed drink I've had, but you know, for three dollars, I'll give it a three out of five, no questions asked. Good stuff. All right, drink two. This is the Hawaiian Cosmopolitan. I'll put the ingredients on the screen here. Maybe PJ, uh, PJ's Cocktails can teach you how to make it. All right, guys, we're going in. Mm. Wow, that is sweet. Okay, that was mixed really well. I could taste the vodka a little bit on the tail end over there, but that's really well mixed. All right, I'll give that one a four out of five. I think of the Hawaiian Cosmo is better than the regular Cosmo there. All right, guys, they came through with the spread over here. So we got the calamari. We got the wing lollipops over here. Uh, Pat, what you got? You got the salmon, right? Grilled salmon. Nice, nice Alaskan salmon. And then I got the flank steak over here with the mash and all that. So, yeah, we're going to have a bite of this. Let you know how it is. I guess we'll just do systematically one by one. Let you know what everything tastes like. Wonderful. Nice. All right, so we got the calamari. We got the marinara sauce. All right, Pat, going in. Cheers. Mm. I like the breading. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. It's a little chewy, isn't it? It's a little rubbery. It's a shame. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, three out of five on that one. Not too bad. I like the breading. Sauce, I think, is just a little thin. But definitely pretty edible. I'll probably still have some more anyway. So, yeah, calamari is all right. Not a bad way to start. Yeah, this is this is it's a little drippy, so it's not quite. It, it's just regular tomato sauce you put on your spaghetti at home. So we got the ocean, uh, the ocean's five chicken wings here. They're really more like lollipops, like lamb lollipops, really. But the chicken, so they're all teriyaki up, sesame chicken. So yeah, we'll try a bite of these. Ready? Cheers. Willing to give that one a four, I think. Definitely meaty. I like the glaze. It's crispy too. Uh, good flavor on that. Uh, it's just—it's a little small for what it is. But again, four ninety-nine. You can't complain. What is there to complain about? It's four ninety-nine. It doesn't even. It seems like thicker than, yeah, than a proper drumstick. drumstick would normally be. Yeah. I know. It reminds me like a lamb lollipop. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. So that, I guess they did it a, a little differently. 
Unfortunately, I, I think the only gripe I, it's a little dry, which is a shame. That's probably the big gripe that keeps it off of a five, is it is a little dry. Mm -hmm. But not too bad. Salmon meal, the reason why I get this is because, you know, being a diabetic, this is actually like an awesome, you know, closer to diabetic friendly meal in Vegas as you can get. Okay, getting the salmon. Yeah, a couple things, well, salmon, fish, good for you. Yep. Piece of portion of vegetables. And the mashed potato portion is small. Right. It's just one scoop. So it's Low survivable. level starch, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's survivable. Mm. So for all you diabetics out there, this is definitely an option. That's why that's why I like this place. Very so nice. You, you hear that two cents? <laughs> Shout out to Hog and Two Cent. We do love Hog and Two Cent. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Gonna have a bite, see how the chef did today. Oh, that's a four. We got a four out of five on that. But it's also based on value. Okay, also true. Yeah. So it's pretty good value for what it is. Very nice. So it's like a five on value, three on taste. Okay, that works. That's reasonable. All right. All right, Chase, what do you think of your flank steak? Well, I guess we're going to find out here. Um, it's also got the same little features as your uh, salmon here. It's got the veg. And it's also got a little portion of mashed potatoes over here. Had it medium, so I think they think they did all right on that. Didn't bring a steak knife, but if it's tender, okay, it cuts right through. All right, that's fine. Oh, I guess I didn't. I guess it didn't cut all the way through. Let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah, it cuts through on the, on the actual grain. So we'll get a bit of that. And then uh, yeah, let's have a, have a little bite here. Let's see how we do. It's a nice car to it. I'd probably say that's a, it's a good 3 out of 5. I got a bit of a chew to it too. Uh, they definitely could season it a bit more. I think it could have stood a bit more salt and pepper and all that. Bring out a little bit more of that flavor too. But it's got a good jar. They cook it correctly. And uh, you know they add a little demi glaze sauce in there that gives it a bit more flavor. I like the potatoes here. The, you know the shoestring veg is pretty nice. Some nice and light for really any time of day here. So I think I can get one. All right, guys, and I got a whiskey stone sour to wrap it all up over here. Really looking forward to this. Wow! All right. That just makes things better and better again. Again, you get a good taste of the liquor in here, but it's whiskey. So you're going to get a stronger taste of that. That's just how whiskey works. Um, you know, if you're if you're getting like whiskey ginger or anything like that, and you're not tasting the whiskey, they didn't put any in it. That's just how that is. So they put some whiskey in here. Yeah, I could drink a few of these and get in some trouble. So, yeah, definitely four out of five on this one for sure. Well, Spinners and Sharks, I do have to say, I'm confident in recommending Ocean One still. The food quality is solid for the most part. Taste is pretty reasonable, but you're best off going for courses that have sauces. The drinks are certainly a positive, and so are the prices. A full flight of drinks and an entree for under $20 a person is unheard of in Vegas otherwise. And for the price of a lot of properties, you should definitely still sneak out of your hotel early and have lunch here. Pat75 said it best, 3 on taste, 5 on value. So overall, Ocean One Bar & Grill earns a 4 out of 5. Okay there, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's restaurant review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a quick second and shout out our patrons. This includes John B., who just joined us the Vegas Veteran tier. Guys, as always, it means the world to me that you'd choose to support me in this way and help Ace of Vegas stay independent of the YouTube algorithm. My content isn't always censor and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you'd like a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, check out the Patreon link in the description box down below. In the meantime though, what are your thoughts on Ocean One? Is it the best value lunch in Vegas, or do you have a better spot that you pick to save money? Personally, I figure if you like the pepper mill, you'll like Ocean One, but that's just me. Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out and I'm wishing you strong hands and of course, happy spending you guys.
Viva, viva, it's a Vegas. 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 Viva, viva, it's a